Hello, my name is Vipul and in this video we are going to talk about aggregator transformation. In our previous video we have already seen how to apply the filter transformation to filter the records based upon some predefined condition. In this video we are going to talk about aggregator transformation. So first of all what is aggregator transformation? Aggregator transformation is uh, the transformation which is going to sum up the values that is, that is coming from the source. Let us take a simple example. If there is a table called employee and you have employee number, employee uh, name and the department and the salaries of those employees in that table. If I want to sum up the salaries of all the employees of a particular department, this is the uh, scenario, this is the situation that can be handled by aggregated transformation. So let us see how we do this. First of all, let us quickly create a new mapping. That is something I prefer always to create a mapping so that uh, things can be very clear for a, every particular transaction on, on the transformation. Here we put the name uh, m underscore m cell underscore a g r let us say. Once we create this, now we have to uh, drag and drop the source and the target objects we have this source here m v underscore m and automatically informatica creates a source qualifier for this source now let us drag the target where we want finally the summed up salary of the employees of a department to get stored so we have the source, we have the target. Now let us create a transformation which can help us to achieve that target. And that is uh, TRN is the naming that we can give M underscore M cell underscore AGR. The transformation is ready. Let us try to place it between the source and the target. and let us just have the salary and the department number these two columns in this transformation once you double click you would have to go on the ports and create a new port where you would like to store the summed up salary of the employees of a department so let us call it total cell and uh, give it some data type and uh, we group it and uh, we then open the expressions window in the expressions window expression editor we are going to use the sum uh, function this particular function in this function let us remove this total cell in the sum function we are going to uh, sum up what salaries of all the employees so see what we have done we have we are saying that please sum up the salaries of all the employees of a particular department we have put a group by on the department number it is going to sum up the salaries that is this column the values in this column based upon the department number group by department number and it is going to store it in total cell let us apply this ok and uh, now we connect this column and this column to the target table that is it now we just uh, save this mapping once we have saved let us go in the workflow manager and once again create a new workflow to run this mapping let us call it workflow m m cell agr the workflow is created the mapping is created the uh, workflow is created now next we must create the session object inside this workflow to create a session object we open this 
apparently we have created the mapping in this folder instead of creating in this folder so let us create the mapping uh, the, the the workflow we have created in this particular folder instead of creating in this folder because our mapping belongs to this particular folder so let us create the workflow also in this folder let's create emp emp cell a g r Now as we see the workflow has been created here. Let us create quickly a task, a session task by the name sys underscore m underscore m cell ag dot r. And it is going to ask us which mapping do we want to connect it to. We will say that we want to connect to first one m, m cell ag r. This is done. So we are going to quickly connect the session object and give it the database connection credentials, Oracle target and the Oracle source. Let's quickly check the properties. The commit type is target and the source is insert and the interval is uh, of 10,000. So this is absolutely fine. We say OK. We save the workflow and we finally run it. We start the workflow. It's in a running mode right now and it says succeeded. Now let us quickly go in the database and check what data has come in the target table. So this was our source table where we have 15 rows of data and the salary of each of those employees were there. In the EMP cell, we have received these four rows and the department number, for each of the department number, the salary has got summed up, the total salary of that department, including the, the salary of the department which does not have any department number okay so this is how we use the aggregator transformation next we are going to talk about the upcoming sequence generator transformation in our next video thank you